Hello, everyone, and welcome to your Garfield Listen and Look book. Every time you hear this sound, it means it's time to turn the page in your storybook. Now, if you're ready, we will start the story of Garfield the Knight in Shining Armor. When the story of Garfield the Knight in Shining Armor is over, let's listen to the story of Garfield in Space. When you finish listening to both stories, you can turn the tape over and record your own story. And now, it's time to begin. On his way to his nap the other day, Garfield stopped to pick up a friend. Come on, Pookie. We have some serious sleeping to do. Garfield and Pookie settled down in their favorite spot in the whole world. I love you, Sunbeam. Garfield immediately dozed off and dreamed he was in a huge green forest. Garfield heard calls for help from Princess Pukala, his girlfriend, and raced to her rescue. Help! Help! Although a fierce-looking dragon was in the moat, Garfield charged fearlessly on. Stand aside, creep. Unfortunately for Garfield, this dragon happened to be of the fire-breathing variety. Garfield was really burned up. This really burns me up. tradition of all great knights, Garfield donned a suit of armor and found a powerful white steed. Here, Odie. Fully confident and fully protected, Garfield gallantly charged again. Die, you dragon dog. And, once again, the dragon resorted to his old defense. Back to the drawing board. Garfield decided to bypass the dragon and throw a rope to his love, Princess Pukala. Watch your step, my dear. Just as they were getting ready to escape, 
the dragon crawled out of the moat and threatened them with a fiery demise. Rats. Then came the biggest surprise of all. Princess Pukala saved the day, and Garfield woke with a start. What happened? Garfield not only had an exciting dream, but he gained a new respect for all the gentle things on this earth. I didn't know you had it in you, Pookie. You do what you have to do. <laughs>